Plenty of fuel as well. Let's throw a fizzle up on this plug. <laughs> Get my new rod to a test, eh? Let's do some popping stuff. I want to see it glowing. <laughs> Sam's a brand of this. Seven and a half amp to 150 volt. Of course, there are more than seven and a half amps put to that battery, eh? <laughs> okay, my world might not be a bit too chunky. I might need something different. We'll give it a try, see how it goes. See how this goes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, magic smoke. Put on 20 amps. Look at that. Ha ha. Some copper there. Smoke myself out. <laughs> that was epic. Damn, blue magic smoke out of the mold in there. <laughs> epic. Looks like I just burnt the neutral one. I don't know if the active one's still there. I get a knife. And what I'll do is shave down some of that cluster to get to the copper. Uh, I suppose the active uh, terminal there and there's wire on this end. There's a bit of copper left, the active one. Not much, but we'll give it a go. It's got a bit hot there. <laughs> Put 80 amps in this bloody thing. That was epic. Try again. I'll plug it back in. Thing's got smoky in here. That was so satisfying. I haven't done that in a long time. No, uh, Nothing in there now. Yeah, look. Nothing in there. Looks like I did get the active a little bit there. The active must have popped like a fuse, I reckon. Nothing left of the active at all. It's all gone. Unplug safety first. Vent the remaining smell out. Yeah, big. Here's some of that copper. And that rolled it up. Let's tear this thing down. Cut a bit off, see what, how much we've got left in there. Nailed it. Literally nailed it. And that's how you nail a short circuit, literally. Get us straight. I'm going to get my rotting mask, maybe tomorrow, if I get a chance. I'll start work later on this week, so a bit more fun before it gets busy again. Oh yeah. Epic. <laughs> Turn the fan off. Unplug this safety first. Definitely never should just to pop things in. Something a bit more open space and bricked up. Here's why it's a good idea to hoard up IEC cords. This came from an um, external hard drive kit I bought ages ago. Came off the power brick with it. And this IRC cord feels so flimsy, it's like a bit of spaghetti. I can chew on this and probably eat it like licorice and tear it up in my teeth if I was hungry enough. There isn't much cord in it, guaranteed. What am I going to do with that? This will be the next thing that gets smoked up. Just short all, the, all three together and short all three there together. Put the welder straight across it and that'll smoke it up because, yeah, it's an um, open circuit on the active pin or the neutral pin. This doesn't work. I thought my appliances are dead all of a sudden, but it was this bloody cord. Cheap ass cord. This is made in China. No brand name, it just says here. 
giant. That's what the brand is, giant. Neutral Earth Live. Yeah, the polarity is right at least. 10 amp, 250 volts, I mean 1 amp, 250 volt. This thing is absolute pants. Let's see, um, user G1 Dian Xian, 300 to 500 volt. That's the brand of it. Anyway, I'm going to be getting smoked next, so stay tuned for that one. Oh, Wayne Boombox Deluxe. Wayne's electrical has been motivating me to pop in things again. I've been man and door, but I just need that little bit of a kick start again to get that motive going again. So stay tuned for more popping stuff on my channel. I'll be doing this when I get a chance again, so that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.